Hey guys and welcome to today's video which is going to be another designer handbag review or first impression. I recently purchased this bag which I've been eyeing for so long. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about it later but if you're new to my channel welcome my name is Vivi. I create fashion and skincare related videos on Wednesdays and Sundays so if that's something for you then please remember to subscribe and hit the like button so you will see more of my videos and it will also help me to grow my channel. And now without further ado let's start the video. The bag we are talking about today is the Givenchy Antigona Shopper Toad and as you can see this is in the limited Madonna edition. So happy to have this bag finally in my collection. A few things we're gonna talk about today is whether you can buy this bag, the pricing, what you can fit in this bag, material, durability and basic things like that. So. Little backstory, I wanted this bag for a really, really long time, or at least I wanted one of the limited Madonna editions. It was originally another one I wanted. I'm gonna put it on the screen. I missed out on that because the seller was in Japan and I decided I didn't wanna pay extra taxes. It was a mistake, I should have bought it because now it's basically sold out everywhere, I cannot get it. And as I said, this is limited edition. So this particular one, you cannot buy anymore online. You can only buy it on Vestier Collective or other secondhand places. The other one, I literally cannot find anywhere anymore. I even tried it in groups. So if you want that, um, good luck with that. Or if you found it and you wanna help me, please let me know in the comments because I still think I want that bag as well. Regarding this bag, you can of course, could or still get it without any pattern on it. I know it existed just in the plain black canvas. This is actually not a leather bag, this is a coated canvas material. The stone you see here and then the handle is leather, but the rest is, as I said, coated canvas. It actually looks like sapphire leather, but it's not, it's just a canvas toad, which I'm totally fine with. And this is also another thing in which it is very similar to the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. I think the size is actually exactly the same as the Neverfull GM. That's still something on my wish list, but I'm not sure because I don't know how much use I would get out of it. I felt this is more fitting to my style because of the color. And yes, it has a very, very visible pattern on it, but I think even the pattern is so much in the neutral color scheme that I'm using with this beigey, gray color that it is going to be perfect with everything I wear. Regarding the price, I tried to look it up now on Givenchy's website. You cannot buy this bag or even the basic black one at all anymore. I tried to look on Farfetch and on Farfetch there are some similar ones. I'm gonna link them below but but those are around thousand dollars or thousand euros because they are made out of leather so they are more expensive than these ones. I actually don't know the original retail price for this because couldn't find it anywhere and now I can only see it on Vestier Collective. The prices differ a lot. It depends on a lot of things. I actually feel like I made a really really good deal with this one and my next purchase should have been, should have been the Givenchy Antigona the structured model in the shiny leather but I just felt like I wanted this for so long and it came at such a good price that I just had to grab it. And I also feel like this gives me much more freedom because it is so extremely spacious. If you have the Louis Vuitton Neverfull, you know how much it can have. It is super, super spacious, but very, very lightweight. And this is also a pro for this in comparison to the other Givenchy Antigona. I tried it on a few times and that is a heavy bag. This is a super, super light bag. So I can pack a lot of things in it, but it weights almost nothing. So I think it's very, very important for a packy bag that it doesn't weigh a lot because the things you're gonna put in will weigh a lot so it's good to, to start out with a lower weight if you know what I mean. I feel like this will be perfect for work but it's also perfect if I have to travel and I need a big bag on the flight or if I have to go away for the weekend. I'm going away for the weekend to my boyfriend's family and I'm going to pack in this one because I can't wait to try it. But I just feel like it can have so many things and uh, that is something that I needed. I wanted to have a bigger sized designer bag, which I can bring with from A to B. Regarding the department, it is a huge, huge, uh, <laughs> I'll try to show you later what you can fit inside. Now I just have some random things in, but it has one huge, huge department and then it comes with a little pouch. That's why I also think that I made a really, really good deal for myself because I can see this sometimes with the Bambi edition. I'm gonna show you that as well. And they sell the pouch, only the pouch, for like 2,000 crowns. And I think comparing to that, what I paid for the bag and the pouch is really, really amazing. One thing to note about the bag is that here on the corners, there were some marks 
and I basically just painted it with some um, with some black noters. I know it's not the best way to do it, but I just felt like it's just a black bag, and I could barely see those whites. I just wanted to quickly get rid of them. Maybe if it gets worse in the future, I'm gonna bring it to a place where they fix bags. I still don't know what the name is for that, but um, I just wanted to mention that you can get bags much cheaper when they have some kind of you know signs of wear. But if you know that that problem is easily, it can be easily fixed and it's worth it to negotiate down the price and then get it fixed by yourself because you're gonna save so much in the long run. So that's just another tip for me. I don't know how durable the straps are. Um, I don't know how much uh, the previous owner packed in this one. It is very spacious, as I said, you can put a lot of things in, but I don't know how durable this is. There are no signs on the strap. And I think she had it for quite some time because this bag came out long, 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 long time ago. So I believe and I hope that the straps will be very trusty for me. But that's something I will only see with time. So what I'm just going to show you now is what you can fit in this. And I'm going to show you how it looks on. Uh, this is going to be a short video because I don't think there's too many things to say about this. I don't think it's a very, very popular bag. And I don't know why. I don't know why it uh, was discontinued because... I just feel like it is a perfect dupe for the Louis Vuitton. I don't know if I can say dupe because the price is more or less the same. But one other thing to say is that you can still buy this or similar bags on Vestiaire Collective or the Real Real or other similar places if you're interested. But as I mentioned, you can't really buy the new version anymore. I don't think it's a problem because most of them are very new looking. So you basically just save money, but you don't miss out on anything. Let's just move on and show you what you can have in this bag. I have emptied the bag and we are going to start with the pouch just to show you how many things can go in this. I will likely not keep so many things, but it's literally all the essentials I can think of that I would put in a zipper pocket. So I'm starting out with my phone, which is an 8 plus. I have a lip balm, a mouth spray and some tissues. I have my key holder, a hand sanitizer, one lipstick and my keys. And as you can see, it fits perfectly. I could even put more things in. I can easily close it. And if I wanted, I could just walk around with this, but I don't think that's gonna happen. So now that we have packed the essentials that I want to be hidden for thieves, or I just want to buy them easily, we can move on to the more like everyday or work essentials. So I'm going to start with my computer. Actually, one other thing, I would put my AirPods in. But as you could see, there is easily space for that in the little pouch. So now we are moving on to my computer. This is a 13 inch Mac. I could easily put an even bigger computer in. I actually went to the city with this and I can easily put it laying down on the bottom so it doesn't even have to stand. And if I put it that way, then it gives some kind of structure to the bag. Although I think I would prefer to have this standing in the bag, but of course it depends on how much stuff I have in there and then it will move around anyway. That's why maybe it's better to have a bag organizer with this bag. I think that helps a lot. Unless you're going away for a weekend, I don't think it's necessary to use up the whole space in this. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to order a bag on organizer as soon as possible. So I have the computer in. I'm throwing in a mask just because I found it here. I am putting a notebook and a calendar in. Then of course I'm adding my charger, sunglasses, my real glasses then to be super super preppy uh, I have a food box here I actually never used this but I'm planning to bring this to work maybe sometimes so this is the biggest thing I could find I thought it's a good example to show you how much I can actually have and then a must-have for basically every single day this is if you're in a market for um, a good like coffee mug or whatever this is called, then I can totally recommend this brand Contigo. It really keeps it warm for a long time and it also keeps it cold for a long time. So it is really, really amazing. I used it in Bali when I needed cold water, worked for hours and hours and it keeps my coffee warm as well in winter time. It's just, you know, something to mention, but it's also something that I would bring to work every single day. And this is how the bag looks like now. So you can see that I could still pack in this. So if you put lighter things in, you can put a ton of things, but this is just extremely heavy. I don't think I would use it like this because I don't want to destroy the strap and I also don't want to destroy my shoulders. Very likely this uh, amount wouldn't happen on everyday basis, but it shows you how many things you can actually put in here. I actually have a sweater here as well, uh, oversized, I think it's like size large sweater. You can see how big this is and I can still easily, easily have it in here. This is it, fully, fully pegged. I again, don't recommend you to put so many things in your bag because in the end it will get destroyed. 
but you have the option to do it. Um, I think we went through everything. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments or contact me on Instagram. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope I raised some interest and awareness about this bag. I think it's a hidden gem and it's definitely a very reasonably priced designer bag. I don't know about the durability, I have high hopes for it and I'm super super happy to have this in my collection. And that was it, thank you very much for watching and hopefully see you at my next one, bye!